In 2017, internationally acclaimed Swedish journalist Kim Wall was in pursuit of a story. She'd finally convinced eccentric inventor Peter Madsen to agree to an interview aboard his submarine in a harbor in Copenhagen. That would be her last story. Madsen killed Wall and dumped her body in Danish waters. But Wall's murder, the trials, and Madsen's conviction aren't the whole story here. Determined to change the focus from victim to brave journalist, Kim's mother has written a book, A Silenced Voice, The Life of Journalist Kim Wall. They recently joined me from Sweden. You know, as a journalist, I was compelled and inspired by Kim's story, but I have to be honest, as a parent, it was really hard to keep reading sometimes. I just, how did you find the strength to write this book? I think it was necessary to do it because this, this was a way for me to handle this absolutely absurd situation. So, and it's, uh, it's easier for me to, to write down feelings than, than to, to talk about it. So it was, uh, it has some kind of healing effect. And I, and uh, during all this, uh, during the media covering of this uh, event, it's been, always about the what happened and about the murderer but Kim was never there and I think it's so important that she will take place and that people will learn to know Kim who she was as a as a woman daughter fiance sister journalist or whatever and not as the victim she became and that that's the most important thing for us and today we uh, we focus on her her life not on her death that's, uh, yeah. One quote you mentioned in the book, you said, the one who makes a journey has something to tell. Kim, in my eyes, in the eyes of the world, was a capital J journalist. She was the real deal. I mean, she covered stories all around the world. And she was very, very good to, to find those very special stories with, with ordinary people. And uh, she wasn't at all uh, impressed by um, by presidents and kings and so on. She wants to talk about and write about the the very ordinary people. And she always said that uh, all people have a story that's worth to tell. Was it her who called him the odd stories? Yes, exactly. And she would like to have the stories with a rebellious. Uh, so, uh, undertone and that was very typical Kim. She she wasn't a, a mainstream uh, journalist in in any way. She she made her own path through through life and it was not always very easy. Making your living as a freelance journalist it's it's not so easy and especially in this very male dominated uh, foreign correspondence. So, but uh, she was eager to take the fight with, with the men to show that it's so important that there are female journalists and female bylines because the story is different if it's uh, written by a, a female journalist than a male. A, a quote written about Kim that you added and it says, humanity needs more courageous women like Kim, women who want to dare to tell, give their voices to the weak ones and make this planet a better place to live. How are you ensuring Kim's determination endures? Let's talk about the Kim Wall Foundation. It's very, very important for us because this is a way that we could make Kim's spirit and legacy live on. And we have already sent out six female journalists in, in different parts of the world to make stories in stories that could have been written by Kim. So, uh, and uh, this year we had 110 applicants from 45 different countries. And I think it's very, very important that the female journalists from, from South America, from, uh, from Africa and from, from Asia, that they give, that we can give them the opportunity to go out and, and do this kind of stories because they are so very needed. Today, maybe more than ever, if we look around what's happening in the world. So we need these female voices in, in the media. And this is, and that was exactly what I was gonna ask. I mean, this is a dangerous job, but how important is it? What are the lessons we can learn from Kim as we pursue truth? Hmm. Absolutely. 
and it, it's so important that these stories uh, they must be told because otherwise we we give uh, in for for the bad uh, bad forces and for the democracy we need we need journalists like him who are prepared to to go out and do this story and ask this uh, the questions that no one wants to to answer I'm going to read one more quote if I can because it was so inspiring to me. It's something you said that I think a lot of people who are dealing with anger and loss could, could remember. And, and it says, if I allow myself to be caught up in feelings of hate and revenge, I'm the only one who has something to lose. He couldn't care less. Life has to win, not death. Evil cannot be allowed to triumph. How an incredible way of looking at that. Ingrid, tell us, tell us how that is so important, that thought. Because if we fell down in this big black hole, then we are the only losers at, uh, because of that. And we have to, to focus on what's good in life. We have our son and today we become grandparents and we have our dog, we have friends and family. And so and there are even during the absolute blackest day, there are some kind of, of, of light and we have to focus on that because otherwise we, are, we have to live on and we have to do the best of it because what's happened, we can't do it we can't undo it. So we have to, to make the best out of it. And that's why, why the fund is so important for us, because that gives us a meaning in this absolutely meaningless crime. Yeah. So to donate to the Kim Wall Foundation and support female journalists around the world, we've linked the information on our website.